Hey guys, Tetron here. I'm on my lunch break right now. I tried to record a quick video. I ran out to my car because I was like, you know what? This is on my mind. I know it's on other individuals' minds, so let me just make the video real quick. But the question is, will Ryan Cohen buy shares? Is he about to add to his GameStop position? After seeing Larry Chang acquire more shares at the end of last week, after GameStop reported positive earnings, you know, net income profitable, EPS positive, uh, free cash flow, very positive again. So that begs the question, will Ryan Cohen buy more shares. Some may say, oh no, you know, he already has so many shares. He's just deciding what to do with the shares, maybe hold or hodl, considering he's only held since he first acquired his initial position. Then around this time last year, March, 2022, he added another 100,000 shares. And the counter argument would be though, well, wait a minute, those 100,000 shares were bought and on a split adjusted basis in the high 20s. So if that's the case, we're in the low 20s right now. So who's to say he wouldn't add more shares, especially considering the company is turning profitable. And in their most recent earnings report, they basically were like, yeah, um, near term profitability is on the horizon and important to us in what we're doing. So hearing that is really exciting. And on top of that, if an insider like Ryan Cohen is buying, that's extremely bullish in my personal opinion. Larry Chang buying alone is bullish. If you look at GameStop's insider activity as a whole, when's the last time somebody sold, right? And if you look at a lot of other names out there right now and you look at their insider activity, a lot of insider selling going on. I know I always say this quote and I always butcher it. I don't get it exactly, but essentially insiders can sell for a multitude of reasons, but there's only one reason they buy because they think the stock price will go up. It's really that simple. So Larry Chang buying, extremely bullish. But now the question is, will Ryan Cohen buy? Honestly, the end though, my final analysis is though, who cares? Who cares? I like the stock. I have the position. I mean, don't get me wrong. I care, right? Obviously, individuals care if Ryan Cohen adds more shares. But my point is, whether he does or doesn't, it doesn't change the long term as a whole. But if he does, it's extremely exciting. And I would say extremely bullish and just shows even more confidence to individuals. But hey, we'll see what happens. That's just some of my thoughts. Hope everyone has a good day.